RNG spots. <laughs> That's all you, you know. The RNG spots. <laughs> I like it. I mean, it's basically the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're gonna start off here. We just counted down. Um, thing to note, as you'll know from last race, the timers below the screens of the runners are the time we're actually gonna use. We're not gonna be using real time. Uh, just a reminder for people that it removes loads, which is good because Simo is already like nine seconds ahead. <laughs> We're going to be going through King's Pass here. Um, for the most part, the beginning of the run is pretty standard. Um, we are Even running across something all categories. Across everything. Well, there's a difference. We're in 1 2 2 1. You're not used to that, Zeno. True, but the, the beginning is still extremely similar. There are a few, uh, a few minor things that are patch specific, but in general, the first approximately five minutes are going to be the same. Mm hmm. We'll just hear. We'll, we'll hear. We won't hear. We'll just see a quick pause on Simo here to match up the times. The midair jump. I like it. Gotta get the slow mo in. <laughs> that would be that would be a feature. I want them to add slow mo. We can do all these crazy things with the runners. But it seems they're both pretty equal. I'm getting out of King's Pass. Simo being slightly behind. Yep, Simo a couple seconds behind here, as you said. Um, I'm not sure how much practice Simo has recently versus Cow. I know Simo is running this pretty hard for a couple weeks, but I think it was in prep for a tournament, so I don't know if he kind of has taken a break from the any percent route for a while or how much he's he's up practicing for this tournament. So should be interesting to see. Yeah, it is a pretty optimized run, so even a, even a short while of rusting can actually matter quite a bit. Yeah, we're gonna see them come up here to the first. Is this one of the RNG elements? You know, Zeno. Oh, what yeah, the, the first one, the, the grass room. All the grasses in this room are mostly randomly spawning and moving, so it can be pretty annoying when they just get in your way. Cow did a pretty cool dodge around the first one and then inventory drop for the rest of it. Uh, Aspid Arena. Is Cow going for it? Oh, Cow going for double spike? Oh, and he gets <laughs> it. He gets it. He takes the damage for it, but it's totally worth it. Simo here not going for it, so he's gonna lose a bit of time comparatively by having to kill them one by one. I don't know if I've ever seen a damage boost to Devil Spike. I didn't know that was possible. It was pretty stylish. Simo damage boosting over the gap. Yo, I love this start. This is the most interesting start we've had. <laughs> Time's still pretty even, right? Yeah, Simo's. Actually, I'm surprised that Simo's, what, like four or five seconds behind here already? Yeah, I'd imagine that's just the two seconds in King's Pass and his Aspid Arena not being uh, quite as optimal. True, true. Triple having to spike. kill the two Aspids yeah. probably takes like three seconds or so. As chat's saying, it's technically a triple spike because he hit himself as well as the two Aspids. <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> this has never happened before. <laughs> New route. Uh, All right, taking... so they're coming up False Knight. Uh, it's first boss of the game. There's really not much complicated to say about him. He has two moves. <laughs> Jumps bad for Cal. We'll see. You want him to jump right over you. You can get more damage off that way. Simo has it right. Simo actually got really good hits in there, too. Yeah. Um... It's one of the few points of RNG on this boss. After that, he's... like it's it's completely set at that point. Yeah, and the damage, you'll see Cow heal right there. The damage that he took earlier really won't matter. Uh, during this downtime in False Knight, you actually have a lot of time to heal. And Simo making up, I think, five seconds to two seconds. So that jump over your head, as well as better slashes from Simo, actually saved more time than I thought. Either way, they're going to be coming up to Vengeful Spirit pretty even. Again, a couple seconds apart. For the most of these races, that shouldn't matter. We haven't had a we have had actually a really close race once that was like a couple seconds apart, but for the most part, as, as far as we're concerned, they're pretty even. Yeah, both players overall showing a very solid early game nonetheless, getting up to Mental Spirit. Yep, and this is the first kind of upgrade that we're going to get, what Vengeful Spirit is, is a fireball. Again, we did have a race right before this, I'm assuming most of the people here are from last race, so I'm not going to spend too much time explaining things, but... Uh, what you need to know is it kills things. Look, Cow killed something with it. Well done, that's Fireball. Simo missing the uh, little strike on the plank there, so he's gonna need to break that later. It's a bit of a time loss. Oh yeah. 
See, the other annoying thing about that is I forget about that. So, like, I'll miss that plank, and then when I'm coming down out of mound, I'll forget about it and kind of just stand on the plank for a while, wondering what happened. Yeah, because you can't actually see it either from the boulder arena. So, uh, if you haven't broken it, you just have to actually remember that you didn't break it. Cow taking another hit of damage. Damage here, it matters a little more. They're not going to be benching before all the way up to Hornet, so they only have up to four hits total. Cow obviously now only has up to three, but it shouldn't be too bad. Does he bench here? Oh, Cow will do a safety bench. All right, it really won't matter because he'll bench to full. Yeah, and I think both of our runners got first spit uh, roller, so uh, RNG not mattering for them there. <laughs> Indeed. Are they called rollers? Is that the name? I don't know. I just call them rollers. I like it. Because otherwise, you call both things boulders. I actually call them roly polies. <laughs> I like that more. In this room, Cal's gonna. Well, they're both gonna be trying to get six hits of soul. Uh, Cal will get his six pretty easily. Simo also having pretty good RNG. Again, as Zeno mentioned, the Grezzers in this room, not just at the early game, but still, are gonna be random where they are. So you need to kind of improvise to be able to get the hits on them. Yeah, and you need you need it for two fireballs. One to kill his boulder, uh, and the second one to just skip in the green path. As Cow does, and Simo just, he lands on the very edge of that platform, but he does get the fireball skip there. We'll take those. We'll take it. <laughs> Any fireball skip you can get, we'll take it. There are two more fireball skips in green. How did Cow get that hit? There are two more fireball skips in green path. Um, they're both a little longer than the first one, a little more difficult, so we actually use two fireballs to get across as opposed to one. Which is why you see the bow, the bah, the runners collecting all this soul. My apologies. Yeah, and this room is quite easy to collect soul in, since you just basically hold right and down slash at specific timings. Pretty good from Cow. If you miss this, as Simo does, you need to go for a single, a double, or backup. Okay, he's gonna miss it again. Ooh, he could he's go gonna go for the mosquito backup. It's been yeah. a while since I've seen this one, but this is this is an old strat, uh, but. Again, it's still a backup strat you can do. Um, mostly you would probably just reset if you missed the fireball skip there, but um, this is the race, so. <laughs> yeah, especially any percent, which is such an optimized and relatively short category compared to the other categories. Um, you definitely would be, or for the most part, you'd be resetting there. Ooh, Simo having difficulty with the second fireball skip here too. Yeah, my guess is Simo's a little bit out of practice. The fireball skips are very much muscle memory and timing, so once you, once you haven't done those for a week or two, it gets really hard to get back into it. Yeah, and, and that fireball skip there is also really precise. So um, yeah, it's definitely something where even a little bit of rust will throw you off. Mm -hmm. One of the harder ones, fortunately for Simo, it's not a massive time loss. He just has to go around there, but it's not like it's absolutely required for the run. Coming up here on Cow's screen, he's going to be going for Bench Fly King. I'm assuming Simo will as well. This is just a way to get Geo. He does a quick kill and again tank. Yo, Cow's a master of like tanking damage to trade. Yeah, it's a shame that's actually slower. <laughs> it is. But yeah, bench like a quick, I believe it's 65 Geo? I think it's 65, yeah. 199 is pretty good for Cow. He's not gonna get the Geo from this guy, so you know, I take that back. It's, it's not the best count. If you can get the Geo from that last guy that Cow was trying to kill, it's better. But we'll see how Simo, how Simo fares here. Yeah, I'm not familiar with the exact uh, Geo numbers you need. Uh, yeah. How much Geo um, do you need to get out of Green Pass? After Claw, we need 206. And then- <laughs> What was that? <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice <laughs> Hornet movement. <laughs> oh yeah, speaking of which, this is, this is Hornet, the second boss of the game. Uh, she has an interesting movement sometimes. <laughs> just a little bit. Yeah, you can generally just stun lock her into a corner, but uh, if she gets free, she can do some wonky stuff. I have played hundreds of hours of this stupid run, and I have never seen A, a double spike kill with a damage boost, and B, Hornet just fly up to the ceiling. Cow is showing me things today. Yeah, we knew, as, as you mentioned, a little more important, but, you know, less entertaining. Uh, they do need 206 Geo by the end of Fungal Wastes. Uh, there's no real guaranteed Geo in Fungal. That was a huge lag from Simo. I hope he's yeah, alright there. Simo's having some connection problems? Okay, he did kill it. Yeah, I'm hoping it's connection and not just frame rate on his own side, because that's it's pretty hard to fight Hornet like that. Yeah, that would be really awful. Anyways, both of our runners now having dash, Simo being a bit behind. Quite significant behind, probably because of the fireball skip uh, that he missed in Green Pass. Yeah, just uh, this little... Go ahead. 
he can still make it up though. Like there's there's a lot of areas in this run where you can get gain or lose a lot of time. So he's not out. Oh, for sure. I mean, as we saw last race, like Watcher Knights, Umu, uh, all of late game really are huge turning points. So. Um, 119 Geo should be interesting. If he can get one of the five Geo nodes from the Big Mantis that we have to kill, he's fine. Uh, if he can't, he could be in actually a lot of trouble here. Uh, if he ends up at 199, there's, it's going to be really slow for him to get to that 206 count. Um, again, if he finishes Claw with only 199. Yeah, he needs to get seven Geo here. Unless there's any backup Geo I don't know about. The only backup you would be killing the enemies in Forgotten Crossroads afterwards, so... Yeah, that sounds pretty slow. It does. <laughs> it is. Plus, each of them dropped three Geo, so we'd have to kill three enemies. Yeah, Simo needs to get four Geo, so he's in a bit of a better position in terms of yeah. what he needs to get here. Yeah. Uh, First, nice explosion poker from Kaya. Yeah, yeah um, none of them going for the slightly faster. <laughs> or we haven't seen Simo yet, but uh, he's not going for the slightly faster explosion poker that's also like 15 times as risky. <laughs> Ooh, nice little stall in the air with uh, the fireball to guarantee is... the map is poker though. Simo's not going to risk it. We'll actually get these geonodes here to be well above where he needs to be. It's going to be a bit of a time loss though. Axe is mentioning in chat you can actually kill the Aspid. Uh, I don't know how much geo the Aspid drops. I think it's honest. three. It is only three? I, I don't actually. I'll be honest, I don't really keep track of how much... No, Aspen's <laughs> dropped 6 Geo. Okay. He still will need another enemy after that, then. I didn't see... Wait, how much did he get? This is important. <laughs> it's a shame none of us are paying Oh, 210. Yeah, it's a shame. <laughs> well, he's fine. After all that Simo... talk about Geo, he's perfectly fine. Yeah, Simo's struggling a bit with his Mantis Pogo here. Oh, that was cool. Just barely getting it. He had yeah, a few failed attempts, but uh, he managed it eventually. Yeah, for sure. It was not the cleanest, but the... The backup that he ended up getting was actually pretty cool. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. <laughs> um, so this part of the run, we're going over to Karez's mother and eventually to Dream now. Right now, we're going to see how the runners want to collect soul. Cow has a little bit of a weird method of double pogoing that mantis, but it looks kind of cool. So, credit for that. Yeah, and. Uh... It, it's mostly just a straightforward move, left to right segment. There's not really much of a detour. They're grabbing this stag station for for use later, but other than that, there's not really any detour they're taking. Yep. It's just some enemy hits. You need six in total for Grezmother to be good. Uh, as you see, Apocalypse just got his fifth and sixth there, so he'll be fine. We'll see how Simo gets his own. His seems a little more standard. Not too much to talk about. We can see how Grezmother treats him. Okay, not too bad of a pattern. Yeah, it looked it looked fine. Um, Grass Mother also has RNG movement, which you may seem to notice is a pattern among these bosses. <laughs> <laughs> so you you can be really unlucky and lose a lot of time here. Ooh, relatively lucky cleanup too. Yeah, it's not his best cleanup <laughs> for sure. <laughs> You can ideally use only two fireballs to kill all the little Grezzas that come out of Grez Mother when you murder her. But um, it is RNG dependent, and it's also timing dependent to get that fireball right when they come out, because that's when they're most uh, condensed together there. Yeah, you can certainly be awkward. Mm hmm. Simo looking down into the ground for some reason. <laughs> As you do, apparently. This is just horrible. <laughs> what He's are you doing, yep. Simo? <laughs> He's having a dance party. Seymour just barely not getting one of the Grezzers. That's yeah. unfortunate. Otherwise, that was really good. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what are these dashes? Yeah, I think Seymour's definitely out of practice here. Which is unfortunate, but... It's very easy in a game as uh, precise as this when it comes to movement. For sure. It is what it is. Nice shade skip from Apocalypse there. What he did is he killed himself did... and got his shade to spawn. Pogo off a bit to Blue Lake. Did Apocalypse say Sly? I hope so. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Neither was I, but that seemed very fast. I don't know, chat can probably tell us. I feel like chat would be rioting if he didn't save Sly. Probably. I will see my saving Sly. Um, Good for him. Setting up the same shape skip. Yeah, if he didn't save Sly, Sly is necessary for later in the game we have to buy Lantern. Um, if we don't save Sly... <laughs> 
<laughs> Chad is busy laughing at commentary. All right, all right. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, if we didn't say kind of laugh, huh? Hope it's the good kind of laugh. <laughs> Me too, man. If he didn't save Sly, it's going to be really awkward rerouting to go back, save him, and then go back to dirt with the Divine Lantern. It'd be kind of interesting. I don't want to wish bad things on Cal, but it would kind of be interesting if he didn't save Sly to see how he'd deal with that. They'd have to make a pretty significant detour because they would have an effective crossroads by that point. Sure. Oh, yeah, that's even worse. But we'll see. Um, we we'll will. find out in, like, I don't know. 10 minutes or so? Yeah, something like I don't know. I don't know timings. <laughs> Probably should. Simo <laughs> also entering the Dream Platform segment right just about now. Apocalypse already about halfway through it. Yeah, Simo definitely in a deficit here. We'll see what time they both get Dream Nail to give kind of a comparison, because again, we are using these in-game timers to remove loads, so it's not terribly clear um, until they're at the same section. A 30, I'll say 33 from Apocalypse Cow. Simo will pause at a 43, so he's 10 seconds behind. Dream segment is about 36, so he's about 46 seconds behind. The better part of a minute behind, that's a pretty rough loss. And it's Simo all also not, not resetting the room. Interesting enough. Uh, yeah. yeah, I didn't follow up. He's too busy looking up and down, man. <laughs> Gotta be aware of threats, you know. Apocalypse misses Seer Skip, actually. You can dash out of that room, as I'm sure Simo will do. So let's just lag it. it. It must be internet, because there's no way he's actually succeeding at crossing those platforms with that kind of lag. Yeah, that would be very impressive, honestly. <laughs> Seema getting across a platform is fine, though. Mm -hmm. And let's see if Seema can manage Seer Skip. I hope so. I heard, is Seer Skip harder? Do you do it in current patch? I, I try. <laughs> <laughs> it it's really precise in current patch. Yeah. Sleepy Night is one of my favorite glitches. Sleepy? Is that what you call Seer Skip? I mean, look at him, he looks sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Roly Poly and Sleepy Night. Yeah, I man. like these terms. Dude, I don't know why they don't let you name things. <laughs> Who's in charge of that? I came in too late to name things, unfortunately. <laughs> See, I don't know, I came in after you. So to me, everyone came in at the same time, except for anyone newer than me. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, uh, Parkless can't make his way down to King <laughs> Station. <laughs> I love the just anyways, like, oh yeah, right, we have a <laughs> we have we, a race to commentate. We we are here for a reason, after all. Uh, I forgot. It's mega tight on CP, yeah. Yeah, it's really hard. If you have Dash Master, it's pretty free, but uh, otherwise it's really difficult. And Dash Master is slow to get, unfortunately. Yeah, fortunately for these guys, they are in patch 1221, which makes the whole game work differently for whatever reason. And it does yeah. make shoot see skip fairly easy. I say with Apocalypse Cow missing it, you people don't tend to miss that too often. I'm sure he won't again. It, I mean, it happens. It's, it's still, like, decently precise. It's not, like, frame perfect, but it's still, like, a precise skip. It's not unheard of to miss it. True. Getting rid of Gorgeous House Care for the extreme <laughs> amount of money. <laughs> Getting rid of. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Gorgeous House is actually used by a lot of categories. Um, he gives 420 Geo exactly if you collect all of it, which is compared to the amount of Geo you get for other things quite a bit, and it's pretty fast to kill if you have Fireball. Yeah, it's... Uh... It's really good, actually. What, what's Simo doing? Simo's just smashing those enemies. I guess he wants full soul? He's yeah, that's, that's that's what I would think, at least. Soul is... Uh, I mean, throwing spells are really powerful, so I can see wanting to collect some extra soul. Yeah, fair enough. It does make this gorgeous Hus fight much easier. He will get a double on every hit, which actually is really nice, because you finish with the double and then collect the Geo afterwards. Yeah, uh, Apocalypse Cow getting that lever skip. Uh, that's actually one of the skips that is only on this patch, and that's why this patch is so popular. Goldie Polly. <laughs> Sorry, I'm reading chat. Anyways, uh, lever skip is one of the reasons why this patch is so popular. It allows you to skip pretty significant chunks of the game by just striking levers through walls. And we're about to see Sima coming up on it as well. Meanwhile, Apocalypse Cow is going to start his Watch a Night fight, which, is, if you were here for last run, uh, this fight can be very RNG heavy. Yeah, 
and a big difference in skill too. Uh, you can definitely see Apocalypse Cow. You can see any runner died at this fight, and that would be a huge setback. He does have a nice lead now, uh, but all of that easily can go away if he dies toward the end of this fight. The first one looked pretty good though, a little bit slow, but definitely, uh, definitely playing it safe here. Yeah. This is the second Rolling Poly fight. <laughs> <laughs> these are old. Those, these are different. Yeah, they are. Oh, but he's uh, trapped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's an awkward position to get in. Uh, being pushed up against the wall against Watchmen Knights, with how their movement is slightly RNG, uh, quite RNG, but uh, like they, they can very easily cover every angle you use to escape, and at that point you just have to take damage. Yeah. Healing is before he HP. He should be all right. He's getting good Ooh, damage on these guys. Ah. <laughs> I think we're both watching different fights here. It looks like Apocalypse Cow is going to be okay with this. Holy Roly, I like it. We can just reverse the order. <laughs> I fan. like it too. These are the Poly Rollies. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Cow staring that guy down as he was about to get rolled into. Cow knew his damage. Yeah, there's no fear in Cow's eyes, he knows. <laughs> Cows are not predators. Simo having a bit of trouble here. He's really not getting much damage off, and he is already at 3 HP. This is the first phase of Watch Knight, so he still has a long way to go time-wise and survival-wise. Only at 2 HP now. He will actually heal, which is impressive. It's pretty hard to heal during this fight, and he's getting bad patterns. They spread apart a lot. He wants to kill these guys pretty quickly. If he can do that, then he'll have time to heal if he has the soul for it. But he's also at low soul now, so he's in a bit of trouble here. He wants these Pogos to kill. Oh my, he really just had no damage. getting a double hit kill though. Yeah, but he, he has no soul here, so he can only take one more hit. He doesn't have time to heal unless he tries to heal right now. He's not going to go for it. That's a rough time to heal. And only at one HP, Ooh, this is really rough. Yikes. He's going to heal there. Okay, he made it out. Uh, a oh, nice no. heal, but, uh, taking the damage heal again? He gets. He does get oh. an opportunity to heal because they both roll. They Dude, have there's... quite a significant delay on that. Oh, they're on top of each other. It's pretty good. Yeah, okay. the, the, the fight is turning in Seamus' favor now. Oh. Did I speak too soon? <laughs> these heals, these heals, dude. He's yeah, he's clutching it out. Definitely some clutching coming in here. They're close, dude. They're close to dead. Yeah. He's like it's, one fireball away, I swear. Yeah. Alright, and uh, the fight is trivial at this point. Yeah, but he lost a lot of time. There's no way he's happy with that fight at all. Yeah, that was a rough fight for sure. Gate storage. That is like the only gate in the game that you have to wait for where it doesn't really help you to do gate storage and Simo goes for it and gets it. He goes for the slag strats, I can respect that. He's just staring at the lever. <laughs> he thought it was an automatic elevator. I think he might have accidentally struck both elevators at once, or both levers at once or something. Oh really? I wasn't watching. I like the climb though. Nice climb. Yeah. You it's actually faster to just climb up walls than waiting for elevators in this game. <laughs> elevators are slow. We are too fast. Uh, 1177 Geo by Cow, by the way, is low. He wants to be at 1222, ideally, here. I don't, I don't know the math on that. He's like 50 away or something. 45 away? Yeah, I can do math. So he needs like 45 Geo coming out of City of Tears here, which is a tall task. Like That's a lot of time lost to fireballing enemies. And I don't even know if you can get that much Geo just by fireballing enemies, so... I think the little container of Geo to the left of them contains like 20 or something Geo. Ooh, will he go for that? Dude, there's no there's no way any any percent runner knows about that. <laughs> yeah. That is, that is forbidden knowledge. It, it's like 15 to 20 or something. <laughs> I mean, generally you should be higher Geo here anyway. We'll see how much Simo's at. Simo's actually going to be probably at about 1222. Okay. 1249. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah. So Simo doesn't need any GM. X, I don't want to hear about efficient Geo routing. I like how oh. I route my Geo. Why would you do efficient Geo routing where you can take the scenic route? Exactly. I, Zeno like understands. I, I like how I pronounced both routes different there. <laughs> 23-22 for Cow is exactly what he needs. I don't know if he knows the exact number. He might try for an extra fireball here just to be safe. Oh, he doesn't have soul, so he's definitely not. Uh, he, 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 knows he knows. He knows. <laughs> he's been routing this since the beginning. This has been planned since minute one of the run. 
<laughs> and it'll work out like one out of ten times. That's good enough, right? I think that's good enough. Cow with the damage. Okay. Booster? Okay, cow. So that's that's more than a, that's more of a tribute at this point because I don't think it actually affects the timer. Um, it used it, to be. It does not. It used to be when you get hit by those spikes or any hazard respawn, it would pause the timer slightly. Um, and we decided that that was not fair <laughs> and also kind of dumb. So we fixed the timer, and Cow's just going to take kill. the damage anyway because it's not like it loses time. Yeah, he's doing it for spike strats. <laughs> of course. Simo being. Well above the number of Geo needed. Mm -hmm. Like a whole seven or so. And throughout this run, Simo hasn't taken any deaths or missed any huge skips, but he's definitely playing overall slower than Cow. The Watcher Knights fight, the movement in general. You can see he's way behind Cow real time, and he's already 20 seconds behind in his in-game timer. So he's probably somewhere in the order of a minute behind just from these movement and fights. Yeah, it's very easy to lose time in this game. Even just accidentally. It's... Just, just timing your dashes can actually be awkward sometimes. The loads are pretty even. I can see that. The loads are even, it's just that Cow has gone through more loads because of where he is. Yeah, one thing we didn't mention, um, what they do, and it's pretty hard to notice if you're not looking for it, uh, after they open the stag, they actually look down for just a second, and for whatever reason, that makes the bell for the stag spawn a lot faster. And we have no idea why, but it's a nice easy way to save throughout the run, like, what, something like 12 to 15 seconds, somewhere in there. Is it that much? I don't think it's that it's much. It's like three to four per, per um, toll, and you do three tolls, right? Okay, it might be more significant than I'm aware of them. I just know that it's like the faster, so I do it. I don't know the yeah. exact number of faster. Yeah, yeah now that I think three to four seconds faster. faster. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Apocalypse Cow did not go for Pogax, unfortunately. No. But he's managing the Crystal Peaks movement decently well, nonetheless. Yeah, I, I want to take that back. I feel like 3 to 4 per toll is a lot. I don't know. I don't know where I'm getting that number from. I make stuff up. That's how I do commentary. Sounds good. Um, Cow's having a pretty good Sea Peaks. Unfortunately, the two races that I'm coming today, it looks like no one's doing Pogax, and the one I didn't calm someone, or both runners did Pogax, and now I'm just upset. Yeah, Simo's about to enter as he peaks. He might still do Pogax. We'll see. I hope. Oh, he does, he does reverse Homophony Ball. Alright. Alright, I respect it. There are a lot of these weird little strats in Sea Peaks that some runners do, some runners don't do. Under the platform really, being the last one. Really throughout the game in general, honestly. There's a lot of, like, really small optimizations all over the game. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And it's Simo not doing Pogax either. I'm Unfortunate. <laughs> It's pretty prevalent in any percent, uh, specifically because it is such an optimized and, again, a pretty fast category compared to the other ones. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> being about 30 minutes when the rest of the categories are, like, at least an hour long. <laughs> the 100% categories are, like, almost two hours, at least. Yeah. So Simo's more than a minute behind here. Yeah, Simo's having a, ooh, a very unfortunate Crystal Peak. He's alive. Yeah. Taking taking the safety heals, I think that's a, a wise decision at this point. You do not want to go through the final room with a single HP. For sure. Even yeah, if, he, like it's it's possible to catch the a good laser cycle even without taking damage, but it's risky. Yeah, it, it, and a lot of runners, a lot of any percent runners at least, only know the damage cycle, including myself, only know the damage cycle. So like, they they need to be it. Uh, 2 HP or more to be able to get this last part of the room. Also, a monthly ball from Simo. Very nice. Yeah, no Trinomi drop, unfortunately. I don't think. Cow wasn't paying too much attention. <laughs> Cow took two hits here, so you do want to be at as much HP as possible before Umu. With his lead, I wouldn't be surprised to see him bench at Archives here. I mean, he doesn't know he has that big a lead. I don't know if he's watching. He will bench. I don't. Yeah, I don't know if he's watching the race. That's another thing that some racers kind of choose to do, some racers don't uh, see where their opponent's at throughout the race. He's doing left side I... archives. Oh yeah, he has enough soul for it. I can yeah. respect it. Yeah? It was a good left side too, he didn't take any damage. Alright, so let's yeah. see how he does with Umu. 
Umu, like was mentioned last race, notorious RNG element on this run. It's horrible. <laughs> uh, best case is you two cycle it. Uh, probably average case for the race has been three plus. We did see a two cycle, not last run. I think the first run of today we did see a two cycle. Yeah, I'm not actually familiar with uh, Umu with this loadout. Uh, I usually get here way later in the game. That's so horrible. you probably know this better than I do. Ooh, taking yeah. extra damage there. S step one is to not do that. That's uh, that's the beginning of it. They want a Dream Nail for Soul here. One thing we didn't mention about the Dream Nail is it actually does collect Soul if you hit enemies with it. Uh, they need a full Soul for every cycle. Cow is at low HP here, and he Cow cannot two cycle, and he has no Soul. He can't even. Soul as well. He, that can't is even, very he can't do position. anything about this. Yep, Yikes. he knows it. That's very unfortunate. Well, this could be the comeback Simo needed, especially if Cow gets like a three, four cycle and dies toward the end of it. Then Simo's really back in this race, and it's looking yeah. like Cow is struggling. Yeah, he's you know. getting Umu out of cycle can make it really awkward to get him back into cycle again. Yeah. Okay, he got a pretty good damage cycle there. Could be four cycle. I would almost guess five at this point. Yeah, this is definitely a lot of time for Sima to catch up. If Sima manages to two cycle this, he's probably in the race again. Oh yeah, two cycle, two cycle is definitely not the easiest. Even a three cycle will save him a good amount of time. We'll see. This is Cow's fourth cycle. He is at full HP or full soul. He was in a good spot. He should get it here. Yeah. Yeah. So he managed to get Umu back in that platform to get it stuck. Ended up with a fourth cycle. Wasn't looking like one halfway through. Yeah. Uh, he he managed to recover it pretty well. It looked really really spotty at, uh, in the middle of it. Simos meanwhile starting his Umu. Setting it up. Well, I'd imagine. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, he's a one hit late. It, it, you have to have really tight nail hits and fireballs there, so best case for Simo now is actually a three cycle, but it looks like he'll probably is get one. Really? Yeah, he missed one nail hit, which means he can't get a double, which means two oh, cycles okay. hit. I thought Simo's it was fine to miss one nail hit. But, Never. Uh, you can't miss shit. <laughs> it's pretty bad. The double, get a double. Oh, he should have shot uh, one. More. I'm I mean, funny, so we're gonna have maybe a three cycle from the Simo. Yeah, it, it probably is a three cycle anyway. He got pretty good damage in the first two cycles, just not maximum. One more Dream Nail should make it really easy. Uh, okay, I'm just giving him a third attack. He can do this random chance. He's also healing. This might not... He He's kind of hurt his chances here. A couple more, man. No, he's yeah, not hitting. Yeah, getting him into the wall oh. as well, so his fireballs couldn't double hit. Yeah, that should have been a three cycle. I think Simo yeah. knows it too. I think Simo thought he was fine to heal. He didn't have to deal too much damage, but with those fireballs going into the wall, like Zeno said, it's it's rough. <laughs> yeah, level one fireball gets eaten by wall, but level two does not. Uh, so if you're if you're uh, if you're like used to the the Ooh. void spells, that can really throw you off. Yeah, level two spells and uh, void and all that is something. We don't have to deal with it all at any percent. <laughs> we never touch it. Yeah, it is kind of an unknown thing, Isaac. Um, most people don't know that because it's not something you'd ever think to do, to just go up to a random enemy and dream nail it. It's not a yeah, I don't think it, I don't think the game actually mentions it either. Yeah. Well, I like, can't tell you get, in Chinese. When you get the, <laughs> right, when you get the dream nail, I, like, okay, admittedly, it's been a long while since I played the game in, in a language I can understand. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I seem to recall that when you get the Dream Nail, it mentions that it allows you to, like, enter minds and dreams of your target. Not that it also gives you soul. Dream Wielder mentions it? Oh, yeah, it says you get more soul. I can see that. Yeah, but anyway, uh, charms. completely skipping over Apocalypse Cow with second try QGA. Very nice. That's a very hard skip that he's pulling off. And he's yeah. really stretching this lead out. Yeah, QJ is probably the hardest skip in any percent, as far as I've heard it at least. Yeah, I certainly. He gets a nice double there too, so the Mantis Arena went well. is going to be praying for something to happen here for him to stay in this race. He probably needs a death from Cow at this point. Yeah, it's it's looking rough for Simo. He's very behind. We should probably do an exact... I can't talk, man. Probably do an exact time check. Cow is leaving this room at 29.39. We'll see when Simo leaves there. My guess is it's over a minute, probably closer to two minutes at this point. It really depends yeah. on how Simo's Queen's Gardens go. 
I mean, both of them had four minute or four cycle Umus, so uh, Simo did not manage to recover any time there, unfortunately. And the time loss he's already accumulated was very significant. Taking yeah. a safety bench here from Simo, I guess Maybe. he's just not confident in his QJA skip. Maybe. Because got climbing back at a bar would be really slow if he fails QGA enough times. So I can see you taking that safety bench if you're not comfortable with the QGA skip. You know if he did it for HP too? I don't know if he was at full health going into He was at 4 level. HP, so he might have wanted them 1 HP. Okay. But... Oh, nice QGA from Simo. Getting it first that. try. Didn't need that bench. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's hard to say. Like, It's easy to say in hindsight, but like when you're having the pressure on you, it's difficult to say, like, oh, I'll, I'll just do first try QGA, you know? <laughs> I'll just do I don't it. blame him for taking the backup. Oh, Apocalypse Cow falls. He meant to jump off that wall, probably hit his jump input a little too early. This is a section of the run we have like five straight minutes of not benching and three intentional damage tanks. So optimally, you only get hit once in five minutes, which is, especially for this late game section of the run, not an easy task. Yeah, it's it's very easy to just take a random straight damage from an enemy just walking into you or something. We're just reducing focus since, like, like you mentioned, it's a very long segment. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we will take a quote-unquote bench here. Cow did heal up to full, which is why he's at 5 HP, you normally be at 4. And this looks like a bench, but in fact, it is a trap. If it is your first playthrough, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cow, if it's Cow, first, going, yeah. Cow going for the big brain strats of holding right the whole time? For oh, some yeah. reason, holding right on this bench the whole time uh, will make it so that the music from sitting at that bench will continue throughout your whole beast then. <laughs> Yeah, that's the, it's the weirdest stuff. bug. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty. Only if you hold right too. Right here. Like holding left doesn't do it, and like switching directions also doesn't do it. Like you have to actually hold right. Wait, holding left doesn't do it? I don't think so. I didn't know that. That's extra weird. I'm. I might be wrong. I don't know. I. I've never. <laughs> I've never held left, so I wouldn't know. It does. Oh, Axe is calling you out. Damn, Axe. Why you gotta do me like this? <laughs> Just let us have this one, X. <laughs> Anyways, my, my bad then. Just holding one direction then is what's causing <laughs> probably. I, like, still, it's a really weird bike. For sure. Nice uh, beast then overall from Cow. He took one unintentional damage here. Freeze the Grub, uh, unlike Fireborn. Yeah, Grub friend. I like it. I like Apocalypse's Cow's strike on the Devout there to guarantee that the Devout goes forward and attacks. Uh, mm. That way he doesn't get stuck in that little, like, corner in the roof. That can easily happen. Yeah, it loses a little bit of time, but if he does end up going backwards, you can get kind of trapped by that Devout, and you're really in trouble then, so it's worth it to just hit him in the face once. Just a friendly yeah. tap. It, it's not a very big time loss. If you're if you're really optimizing it, then I guess you wouldn't go for it and just pray for good RNG, but... Uh... Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's some task-level stuff right there. Yeah, I, I would take the strike either way. <laughs> So per usual, I said uh, Apocalypse entered some room at some time. We'll see when Simo entered it. And per and usual, we'll put, put I have no idea. Room. Yeah, I pay no attention to this. <laughs> All right, so 2251 Dreamer cutscene or door cutscene for Apocalypse Cow. We Simo's can remember that one. All right. 3251. I'm going to write it down, actually. That's now we just how... have to remember when Simo actually sees it. That's how unconfident I am in my memory. Anyway, Cow's coming toward the very end of the game here. We've gotten all... Uh, behind Watcher Knights, Monomon, and this horrible deep nest movement section. Uh, not horrible Simo? by the runners, but... Simo's farming some soul here. Yeah, he's a little he scared here. In case he needs to heal or something? Yeah, uh, you do need three soul for the last of out. Uh, it's probably not best to farm it at that same guy. It's best to get it throughout the, the beast den. He really doesn't want to get hit here. Yeah, he Simo will heal. taking wow. a safety heal. Ah, uh, nodding at the ground, the ground. I like okay. it. Okay. Take, Simo, taking a hit for it, though. <laughs> Three soul? He can get three soul off here. Okay, he's not even gonna try. So he's, he's gonna just gonna play soul devout then, I'd imagine. Yeah, and, oh, and heal. he's safety wow. healing again. I mean, that's that's fair. The devouts do deal two damage, uh, so he was still in like one shot territory if he didn't heal. Well, this devout's nice too. Yeah, part of the devout tanking strat, as Zeno said, if it slashes you with those blades, it actually deals two damage. So we dash into it intentionally because if we hit its hitbox, we only take one damage, and then we get eye frames throughout uh, the full slashing. Thirty-four. It's gonna be. I wrote down the time because I knew I'd forget this. Yeah, he's gonna be about two minutes behind. So he needs 
cow to die at a hollow knight um cow's not going to have a poor enough hollow knight where he's going to lose two minutes off of it he really needs uh, simo really needs a death from cow here to stay in this yeah um and the the early patch hollow knight is significantly easier than the current patch hollow knight so mm -hmm. i wouldn't count on the death here it can of course happen mm -hmm. it depends how fast cow's trying to play this as well i don't know if he knows of his lead he does have a pretty good time right now though like, Cow with a decent Hollow Knight, with anywhere near decent Hollow Knight, Cow will be ahead of Simo's people. So my guess is Cow knows or at least thinks he's ahead. This is not a decent Hollow Knight, though. He's gotten a bunch of counters, Ooh. hit all of them, and missed Yikes. Them. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Unrelated to the boss fight itself, but the the Sealed Vessel theme is one of my favorite themes in the game. It's really good. Is that what this theme's called? Yeah, it's called Sealed Vessel. Okay. Do you have a name for Hollow Knight? Like, Roly Poly? Uh... <laughs> No, I just call him the Hollow Knight. Ah, that's boring. Can I call him Big Bro? <laughs> sure, you do you. I'm letting you name things now. I don't know who gives those permissions, but you have my permission. Thanks, man. <laughs> Ooh, nice dodge on that flame pillar there. Yeah, you're down between it. I don't think on the current patch, those flames do twice the damage. Yeah, uh, it's it's very significant to get hit by those. <laughs> I actually don't fight this guy in. Well, we don't fight this guy in 112 all bosses, despite the name. Uh, so that's probably why I don't have a name for him. A little bit ironic. <laughs> yeah. We really should name the category 112 all bosses except two. What's the other one? Radiance? Yeah, normal Radiance. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you fight... Uh, yeah. Radiance, you fight Impossible Hollow Knight and Impossible Radiance. Yeah. So Parkland's Cow coming up on the very final uh, phase here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he can't Maybe get well, this right now. Do it, do it, do it. Aww. Aww just barely. Seema's about to enter the room. Fun fact about um, this boss, actually. When you absorb him, uh, if you look uh, in the like cloud when you're absorbing him... Oh no, cow. You can actually... Ooh, cow. Okay. Alright, one HP, that was close. <laughs> Anyways, if you look at this cloud when uh, Apocalypse Cow is absorbing you here, you can actually see the radiance in the explosion just as he finishes the absorbing. Oh really? It's really nice. I'm watching now. Did you did you catch it? No man, I'm not I'm not good enough. I don't have the eyes. Yeah, it's it's very brief. Anyways, GG Apocalypse Cow clocking in at thirty six thirty nine. Yep. Exactly even. <laughs> I like it. Oh yeah, point zero zero. He has the hundredth show in there. It is actually ahead of Simo's PB, so Simo not giving the best race even by his own. Well, even that's that's pretty rude, Tom. Simo. Definitely not going to be too happy with this race. Um, Ooh, getting lots of parries too. Yeah. Not having the luck with Hollow Knight either. Yeah, but but Cow gave a very good race. He got a good time. Uh, props to him. Well done. Hello. Hello. This is Cow. Yes. M Mr. Cow, what's up? Mr. Cow. Okay. Sorry. Didn't mean to be informal. Hello, Mr. Cow. <laughs> That's well, congrats. Cool. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Yeah, uh, I thought it went um, okay for safe strats for the most part. So Yeah, yeah so you had a pretty solid race. Yeah, Absolutely. you had an unfortunate Umu, but... Uh, oh, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> major hiccup in the run, I think. I didn't die, so that was a plus. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, Simon 1 HP here against the whole night. Oh shoot. Okay. He's Taking living. a safety heal here. Oh, also, Pam, you're gonna get a, a second moment here to, to check for the radiance in the explosion. Oh, that's true. I don't know if I'm gonna see it. I'm scared now. I'm under pressure. I wanna watch a YouTube video. <laughs> I, I can just send you an image later or something. It's fine. It's... <laughs> I'll, I'll look it up. I'm sure it's out there. Yeah, so we'll see if we can get Simo in here afterwards. Um, I think you're playing Tombo, if I'm correct. Uh, you're playing Tombo next in the bracket. I don't know if you'd know uh, Cow. Yeah, that's that's yeah. I was wa I was kind of checking out his race beforehand. Ah, uh, the previous race. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. Yeah, it should be a fun race. I'm looking forward to it. For sure. Do you think you can do anything different versus Tombo than you're doing versus Simo here? Um, so, you know, I, mean, I didn't see it at all. <laughs> I'm checking out. I mean, I'm, wa I'm gonna watch the streams where I'm at, and you know, play more aggressively accordingly. So. Yep. All right. Simo clocking in at 38.50, so just just above 2 minutes behind, 2 minutes 11 seconds. 
Yeah, it was a pretty standard race in that kind of throughout the race, Cal, you were just saving kind of ten seconds at a time, ten seconds at a time. There weren't there weren't any really big mess ups by Simo. Simo also got a four cycle Umu, by the way. So yeah. no okay. no real big differences, it's just really added up over time. Yeah, uh, Simo also had a really unfortunate watch tonight. Yeah, very unfortunate. <laughs> hey, Simo. <laughs> How's, you, How's it going, guys? Hey, good game, man. Yeah, GG's, congrats. Thanks. Yeah, it was, it was a good race. You both uh, gave a really solid performance overall, I'd say. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'll definitely go back and watch the VOD after. Cool. How'd you go, Apocalypse? Uh, it went pretty well. I, I had a four cycle Umu. Um, but other than that, um, pretty solid. Second try QGA, so. Oh, nice, nice. I also got fourth try Umu, but that's standard for me, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You did get first try QGA, yeah. though. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that kind of surprised, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Give yourself more credit, man. <laughs> that's That surprised yeah. me. <laughs> Uh, that was pretty cool. I mean, yeah, I guess, yeah. Well, GG. No, it was, was alright. GG. Yeah. We're gonna just about wrap things up here. That was the last uh, Hollow Knight race for today. We do have a race tomorrow. A big race tomorrow versus Scurry and Visuals on the winner's side of the bracket. That's gonna be at 1 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. So that's a that's a good one to check out. I'm biased. Ooh, I'm commentating that too. So I want. <laughs> I want. <laughs> Anyway, uh, that's about it. Uh, anything you guys have to say? All right, thanks, guys. Uh, no, awesome tournament. Thank you. Cool. Yeah, thanks for the races. Thanks for watching, everyone. That's going to be it from us. Have a good night. Bye. Ladies.